In view, we're going to see what's a document map. A document map is basically a navigator. And in this navigator box, you can choose what kind of navigation that you want to choose for your documentation. You can choose from headings, tables, text frames, graphics. There's so many different kinds of navigation that you can choose from. And once you've picked on the appropriate navigation for your documentation, just double click on it and it will appear in your documentation. The next thing that we will look at in view is the header and footer. You can add a header and footer for your documentation. All you have to do is go to the header and footer, click on the header and click on default. As you can see, you have your cursor pointed at the header part. All you have to do is key in. You can key in either title or a date or your company name for your header. So just like Let's say I give a header for my documentation for my company name. Next, I want to put a footer for my document. All I have to do is go to footer, and click on default. Automatically, it will bring me to the footer path. I can key in, for instance, I'll put the page number. As you can see, my header and my footer is now available for every page of my documentation from now on. The next thing we will see is when you click on a full screen, you can see that the two bars have disappeared and you only have ruler on both sides. Some people don't like to use, view the toolbar while they're doing the work as it may cause distraction. So what they do is they go to view, they click on full screen and start typing the documentation. Once they're done with the documentation and they need the toolbar to help them format their document or check on page status. All they have to do is click on full screen and you can see that your toolbar has appeared back again. SoftRemrite has provided a zoom option for the user. All they have to do is click on the zoom and they can choose what, what kind of zoom factor that they want for the documentation. Either the entire page or just a page with the optimal 200%, 150 There's so many different types of zoom factor that they can choose from. So once they've chosen which zoom factor that they want, then they have to click on OK. And based on your zoom factor, the documentation will look to its size. View has the option of express. And in that express, you can see the different kinds of options that has been given in the express. For instance, if you click on status bar, you can see that the status bar has appeared. And if you want the status bar, all you have to, go, all you have to do is go to the view. Go to Express and click on Status Bar and you can see that your Status Bar is here and it tells you what, what page out of how many page should be default, 100% Zoom. The next thing in Express is field names. You can input field names into this documentation that you're doing. You can put field shadings if you want to. You can put non-printing characters in which this particular icon will appear while you're doing your documentation and you need not worry as this icon will not get printed out when you're printing your documentation then they have text boundaries you can they have hidden paragraphs and they have data sources that you can use for this documentation so when you click on data sources you can see that there's so many different types of data sources whether bibliography you can put new database writer database you can choose if you have saved more more list will appear and you can choose from this list which one you want to incorporate into your documentation in order to exit this particular data source just have to go to view go to express and click on data boundaries and the data boundaries will disappear so in this particular tutorial you learn what is document map and how you can use the document map in your documentation how to put a header and a footer for your documentation to view your documentation in full screen and do your documentation and then exit the full screen once you're done with your editing or writing of your documentation it shows you how much you can zoom what kind of zoom that's made available for you to use and then you saw express in which you can Choose whether you want a status bar, whether you want to put field names, field shadings, non-printing characters, whether you want to put text boundaries or hidden paragraphs or even data sources.